Okay, you're joining me in my back lounge where I've done a video a couple of days back on some of the plants I'm overwintering, plus sort of standard house plants if you like. Um, so we're just going to take a close look at individual plants and to see the techniques to overwinter them or care and tips for indoors if you like. So with the Robolini palm, you can see us two palms in there. Perfectly happy indoors, as long as it's got a bit of light, it's not particularly warm. In this back room, we don't heat it to a stupid amount. It's, if you're lucky, it gets up to 20 degrees. Drops down to 17 at night. Absolutely happy with that. Still pushing new spears. So basically, let it dry out fully and then water, I guess, for me. I'm looking at once a week, in fairness, that's pretty root bound in that little pot. So it uses up the water pretty quick. So a week to two weeks, I'll just keep an eye on that. Um, like I say, a lot of these are standard house plants, I won't go into them. But some of the stuff that I do keep outside in the summer, again with this alocasia, Tora, um, that will be in the conservatory, sort of spring and autumn, and then outside in the summer. Down to one leaf on each stem, if I can get right in here. There's actually a, another one in there as well, a little baby coming up. So there's three stems on that, all just one leaf each. Not really growing, just sitting there. Like I say, keep them pretty dry. A little bit of light, that's all they need. A little drop of water. So, we'll come round to this Colocasia. So I'll my fingers in the way. So we're looking at the Colocasia Jack's Giant here. And fairly young plant, so it's not huge. I sat there with that one leaf and it has pushed out a second leaf. Not a huge leaf, but I don't expect too much in these cooler conditions. So again, a bit of light, not stupid temperatures, pretty much sits dormant. Just enough water to keep it moist, I just touch the soil level and see us. It looks dry, but there's a little bit of dampness still in it. The last thing you want to do is write out the dry zone on that. Alright, so this is the dwarf sugar palm we looked at. These are actually surprisingly cold hardy. But um, I could have kept it in the greenhouse over winter. So I set a minimum of 10, but... I thought I'd uh, bring it indoors under the lights and see that uh, push out any new growth. Which at the moment, this is a fairly new spear that's kicked out at the end of summer, so I'm hoping come next year as a start of a new frond there, so we'll see. Little spear. Again, keeping it as dry as possible. Don't want the roots to rot out. So I think a collocation that a lot of people have trouble with is the black magic here, which is was down to one leaf that came in with three big leaves. I think this opened up indoors, probably a third of the size of the big leaves that were on it, but it is kicking out this second leaf, obviously starting off green, darkening off to that lovely velvety purple and when they're outside they're pretty much black but they're real good looking plants good for 
ponds or bog gardens. But um, again with these, if you let them go dormant, a lot of the time the bulb will just rot out. Or it's really hard to get them started again. So this is why this year I've decided to try and keep it in a state where it's alive and still photosynthesizing. So we'll see. Like I say, last couple of years I've had these and I've first year just rotted them out. Second year they tended to overwinter, start to grow and then just die. So this year, third year growing them, I intend to see how this works. So hopefully we'll get a result. Hopefully I'll just jump straight back into full growth as soon as the weather's good enough. Alright, so the last one is this uh, allocation macroriza. Um, again, spring and autumn conservatory outside in the summer. The leaves on this were at least twice the size of this. It's obviously, again, they tend to go down to just one or two leaves this time of year when they're not really in the warmest conditions this one is actually I'm going to be repotting this because I've had it in a uh, this pot for a good few probably two or three years but I always put some small stuff around it just to give it a bit more interest coleus there which I cut back and it's still grown and this uh, thin croton um, first winter I had that in there that dropped all its leaves thought that's just, that just a stick looked like it was dead but this summer came back again and this seemed to be overwintering alright it's not getting a huge amount of light there but it's ticking over it's not really dropped many leaves but yeah I think this year I'm going to have to pull this alocasia out and probably divide up to be fair because uh there's actually three plants in there. Like I say, just one or two leaves on each, but divide it up, get some more plants out of it. Okay, so that'll do for now. Hope you can join me on the next one. Cheers for watching.